what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today's topic is very special it's a very <laughs> it's a very funny topic yet very instructive and very important for everybody to see know understand watch and share so if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video watch my other videos so today's topic is how to destroy yourself with the help of astrology yes you're right it is not how to make yourself how to destroy yourself with astrology please see this video till the end why have i made this video i was thinking should i make it <laughs> i was confused should i make it or should i not make it but then i thought it's high time i should make it because many people have been telling me that sometimes they get obsessed with astrology and they forget that this is their life to do karma the 10th house is very important it may be the house of career but it is also the house of work and your primary karma that's the 10th house so do not forget that there is a 10th house in your chart <laughs> astrology is a part of the 8th house and the 9th house why the 8th house because eighth house represents hidden mysteries, secret, occult, so beginning of knowledge is the eighth house. And then what you ultimately gain out of the knowledge is divine enlightenment, is spiritual wisdom, is you get the way by which you obtain God. That is why ninth house is also the house of astrology. Astrologer is the ninth house. Astrology is eighth house and ninth house. Because if a person cannot guide you how to go to the supreme personality of Godhead who is Lord Vishnu himself as per the Vedic tradition or if you are from a different religion then whatever the Quran or the Bible entitles you to. If a person cannot lead you to that he is not fit to be called as an astrologer or a guru or anybody who has an authority to speak on spirituality. So what happens is, when you come into astrology, you are activating the 8th house, first of all. Because in the beginning, you just know techniques, rules, regulations, ways, methods by which you can time events, by which you can understand what is going to happen to me. Probably you can predict on yourself or on others. But... Not necessarily that it comes true all the time or most of the times it doesn't come true. Then what happens? Do you run into depression? Because 8th house is also the house of depression. 8th house is the house where moon gets debilitated because it is the original sign of Scorpio. That is why whenever you are learning astrology or whenever you go to an astrologer or whenever you think of going deep into this subject it is very important to check first of all that have you done all efforts from your side should i repeat it is very important to check whether you have done everything from your side that you now feel that now it is the time that i should go and seek some higher guidance because what happens is when you do not do things from your side when you do not try sufficiently and then you go to an astrologer then what happens is you end up getting depression because ultimately the astrologer is not going to give you an easy way out to things he or she is just going to tell you that okay maybe you you can do this maybe you can do that then you will get success but then ultimately it is you who have to do it it is not the astrologer it is you who have to make the strenuous effort the endeavor the you have to pay the price <laughs> the astrologer may tell you that you can go into government services or he may tell you that you can go into bollywood or he may say you may become a great writer but ultimately everything is to be done by you right it is not to be done by the astrologer so whenever i see people coming into astrology because of the wrong reasons wrong reasons mean they think that if you go to an astrologer 
or if you start learning astrology things will turn out very magically out of the blue something will happen and it will just work out like this unfortunately it doesn't i wish it would have worked out like this but unfortunately it doesn't work out that way it will only help you in giving some guidance because ultimately it is all about the ninth house it is about guidance and 10th house is the house of karma which you yourself do so if you feel that you are going too much into astrology you are saying okay maybe this planet is afflicted that planet is afflicted this planet is sitting here that planet is sitting here he is causing delay she is causing delay then what you are actually doing is you are running away from the reality nobody is creating problem it is our own lethargy and our own ability to decide the right and the wrong only that is creating problem it is not the planet saturn neither is it mars nor sun nor rahu nor ketu nor even any astrologer nobody is the cause of trouble except ourselves so if we are all the time checking okay maybe venus is transiting in my 7th house it is transiting in my 5th house maybe it's transiting in my 11th house maybe i will get into a relationship that's what people want right when venus transits first fifth seventh eighth or the 11th house people are waiting when can i meet somebody when can i develop a connection when can i get into a relationship with them or people are waiting when i don't know maybe sun transits the 10th house i will do something in career <laughs> now i am not saying that do not use astrology or do not use transits on a day to day basis i am not saying that but they cannot become a substitute for your karma do you understand just because sun is transiting your 10th house doesn't mean you will get a promotion <laughs> only if you work then only you might get a promotion if the other combinations in the chart are supporting so just because one planet is transiting here or the other planet is transiting there you do not end up getting good things similarly it's the same with negative things also just because rahu now is in cancer for sagittarius ascendants which is their 8th house doesn't mean everybody will have a difficult time well karma will play out wherever rahu goes or wherever saturn goes there's no doubt about it but what i am saying is we have to understand the purpose of astrology we have to use it like a compass that when we feel we are lost then we can go and check that okay i did this wrong maybe that was wrong and that is fine we can do it and we need astrology for that and that's great for example for the next 20 25 days venus will be in its debilitation sign of virgo it just entered virgo yesterday or two days back i guess so now we know that we need to be careful in the area of relationships we need to be very cautious while speaking to our partner because mars is also there with venus venus is already it has entered the sign of virgo mars is in leo still in the last degrees and it is going to go into virgo very soon within uh, friday it's going to go so mars venus will be conjunct okay for the next 20 days although venus will be ahead of mars but still the conjunction will work so that means that now we know that we have to be careful because mars represents the fiery planet aggression fighting anger dissatisfaction our ability to cut things and rip things apart so we should not do that in relationships and especially when venus is weak then the tendency can be more okay because venus gets debilitated in virgo that is fine as the side of astrology is con concerned but what i am saying is if we just think that okay the my relationship is not not going good no venus went into virgo that is why this happened oh my saturn's time period has started my sade sathi is going on this is going on that is going on that is why this is happening well then <laughs> there is some uh, what you say some reconciliation which has to be done internally because otherwise what happens is you will end up saying okay astrology is very negative astrology is very destructive it will destroy you it is not negative it is not destroying anybody if you want to destroy yourself nobody can stop you <laughs> so 
it is highly recommended that we do not go to an astrologer every month or every six months also or maybe even once in a year also we don't need to go we just need to know where are the major transits of planets especially saturn and jupiter jupiter saturn's double transit where it is happening because for one year those activities become very prominent because jupiter saturn represents growth and expansion and stability wherever both of them are aspecting as i made a video that for the next one year jupiter and saturn will be combinedly aspecting the signs of aquarius and gemini so if you have prominent planets there then you understand that things related to those planets or those houses wherever from your ascendant gemini and aquarius falls you are going to have some strong growth or some strong karma some strong activity some expansion some focus related to those areas so that is very good to know and after knowing that we should understand okay this is my time period this is my dasha and then accordingly we should start working but if we get too much caught up okay today this is happening today that is happening now i am not saying that do not see monthly horoscopes i am not saying that have an idea of what is happening if you want to know in perfection okay today moon is transiting uh today moon is in mrigshira i guess tomorrow it will be in ardhra then punarvasu then in pushya that is fine those things will play i am not saying do not use astrology on a day to day basis again you can use it but if somehow you feel that you are going into depression or you are going too much into it without knowing the higher purpose of it <laughs> or you are going into astrology too much and you, every time you are asking like some people i get they will ask me okay i have an exam can you tell me it will happen after two months they are like i have this exam can you tell me what will happen why can't you just try and let god do what he wants <laughs> why 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 can't simply you do that <laughs> don't you trust god don't you trust yourself this can lead to paralysis what should i do when should i do this that no now i only made videos that when sun is transiting houses like 1 7 5 9 10 you can apply for job and that's perfect you apply but that cannot become your obsession do you understand what i mean use astrology but that should not become your obsession the other day one person he was telling me that i went to 10 astrologers and 10 of them said 10 different things it ruined my life i said no they didn't ruin it 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 is you who have ruined your life <laughs> because they have only tried their best to give you some guidance but if you are only not clear of what to do then no astrologer no guide no consultant nobody can help you that is why whenever i do consultations i make sure before telling the client of what is to be done as per my opinion or what should be done i always ask the person what do you want to do and i have seen with my experience the moment i ask them and these people say sometimes if they say these people that oh no i don't know what to do i am confused that is why i have come to an astrologer i have seen most of the times even i cannot help them <laughs> like the other day i was uh, doing a consultation for a person and she was telling me that she wants to stay in foreign she wants to stay in india also she doesn't know what to do i said that you have to decide of course as per planetary motions the uh, transits and the dashas things will change i am not denying that but you have to decide that you cannot go to an astrologer and say please tell me what should i do no he will not tell you it is not the duty of the astrologer to tell what to do what not to do it is your free will to decide and finally make the choice of what to do and what not to do therefore it is very important that we do not get obsessed with astrology on a on a negative way now for example in my case i have some of my friends who are uh, connect with, connected with me through astrology so whenever i talk with them i will directly talk like this very technically okay venus is in this nakshatra this is going on that is why for me this is happening it is transiting in this particular house and it's perfect you can go and on and on and on talking about it 
there is no problem you can even talk about transits related to the moon which happens every two and a half days i am not saying do not do that but it cannot be a substitute for your own actions do you understand otherwise you will run into trouble and if you are already in this kind of a situation that you are getting too much obsessed and you start blaming astrology or other astrologers for whatever the wrong things that have happened to your life then what is to be done that means your moon is like being in scorpio in the eighth house because eighth house is a hidden house it's the house of mystery so once you go into the eighth house it is next to impossible to come out because now you know your horoscope you will keep checking the transits and thus as apparently according to that so you will have a difficult time letting go of astrology i know so many people who said okay i am done with astrology i will not use it anymore i am frustrated and then what happens after 6 months <laughs> they will see some video on transit and then again they are like my god rahu is entering my 7th house maybe i will get into a relationship with a foreign partner this time <laughs> because somewhere down the other somewhere down the line some planet will transit somewhere and then you will get all those memories back or oh, what if something good happens this time because your mind is like a endless ray of hope which always keep filling itself with hope okay someday something good will happen so this will happen with me that will happen but what if it still doesn't happen then after 6 months again you leave astrology <laughs> again after 6 months you will come back with astrology and then again something will happen again you will blame astrologers or you will blame yourself or at worst case you will blame the almighty that why did i come into association with astrology that all these negativity has come into my life that is why it is highly recommended that you do meditation spiritual practices by which you can stabilize your mind and not let your consciousness consumed through astrology because these are all symptoms of a afflicted or a debilitated moon and as i said astrology is simply a tool tomorrow if you or your husband or your wife has a medical issue then you go to the doctor then he will again blame that medical science is very negative what if he has a terminal disease he or she has to leave this world leave you then what will you do that time you have to be stable you have to be strong not that you don't feel bad not that you do not cry not that you don't want to commit suicide maybe you want to kill yourself also but still you do not do that because you are very strong inside you are stable inside you are like the ocean as the bhagavad gita says a yogi is like the ocean because in case of a river when there is a flood there is when there is rain sorry there is complete flood there is rakas everywhere but in case of a ocean have you seen I have stayed in Chennai for five years, South India, and the Indian Ocean. There, I have never seen Chennai being in floods from side of the ocean, <laughs> or whatever you call it, Bombay, Goa, or maybe New York, or whichever city you want to call it, or Hamburg in Germany. But the place where I stayed for eighteen years, Assam, Guwahati, there I have seen floods. too many floods every now and then even now my mother calls me and telling me keeps telling that okay there's a flood here there people are dying because the river is not very shallow the river is very it is very it's it keeps hovering on the surface there's no depth in the river like the ocean that is why whenever something comes it just over floods it cannot contain that all right that is what i wanted to say that it is very recommended if these symptoms are manifesting like you are getting too much obsessed about this that and you are always going too much into astrology or too too many times you are talking to astrologers if every other day you are talking to astrologer okay what will happen now now what will happen here what will happen there this shows that you are becoming more and more helpless which is not good which is not the purpose of the rishis okay therefore do some spiritual practice some meditation join some spiritual group do yoga and read the scriptures by which you can stabilize your mind and your relationships because the afflicted moon which is there in you will not only be reflected in astrology it will be reflected in every sphere of life you will do things which people don't like i have seen 
anybody who is in trouble with astrology i have seen they are in trouble with other areas also of life yes that's a true fact which i'm telling you can go and check blindly if somebody is getting in trouble because of astrology as the person claims then the person will also run into trouble for other reasons and then again he will blame people there as one girl i knew she always ran into difficulty with other people because of the way she used to speak and because of the things which she used to speak and once she approached me for a consultation and then i started telling her in a mild way that yeah these these are difficulties in your chart you have to work on them and then she blasted on me oh astrology is so negative this is the problem that is the problem there's no problem anywhere <laughs> there's problem in only one place and that is for you to decide where it is <laughs> the problem is inside us because of which we think there's negativity outside because they say the world is a reflection of your own consciousness atma van manave jagat that is the saying of the scriptures the bhagavatam tells that whatever you are internally you see the world with the with those eyes yes if a man is very much obsessed with enjoying the body of a woman then even when he goes to the shopping mall he sees the body of a female who is a wood those models then he will feel like going and enjoying with that girl that wooden girl <laughs> if he sees the a woman is alone he may go and rape her yes if there is a prostitute who is always wanting to allure men then whoever the man is whoever he is she will always try to allure him so that he she can force him to enjoy with her and then extract money from him yes similarly if there is a person who tries to cheat others by gaining money from them by doing wrong things maybe by selling gemstones <laughs> or by saying that okay i will do this mantra for you you know this will go that will go you know, if they say these kind of fake things and then at the end when they realize that this is not the case then they will see everybody with those eyes they they will think that everybody is like me <laughs> a thief thinks everybody else is a thief so the world is a mirror of your own consciousness that means what you are is what you see because consciousness is like the mirror uh, sorry the glass which you wear so if you wear a red color glass everything you see will be red if you wear a blue color glass everything you see will be blue so if you, if you are good inside you will feel everybody is good not necessarily they are but you will feel like that and you will behave like that you will uh, reciprocate like that but if you are not good internally then you will feel there's there's a problem in this world there's this problem there's that problem everything will become a problem for you all right so if these these symptoms are manifesting in you then do not take a break from astrology because that will not happen you cannot leave astrology once you know because it's like mafia astrology is like mafia you can't leave after joining because you know too much <laughs> but take to spirituality read the ancient scriptures and make yourself strong by associating with other spiritual people who are strong so that we do not get affected by the ups and downs in our astrological horoscope okay that is it from my side this has been a very long video but please take it very seriously and share this with somebody who is also suffering from these kind of diseases <laughs> and blaming astrology or blaming him blaming her okay that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then let me know and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it until next time wish you good luck bye bye